This is my um, Samsung and C10 netbook. Uh, Atom N270 1.6 gigahertz CPU, 2 gigabyte RAM. Came originally with a 160 gigabyte hard drive, but that's like, um, yeah, you know, it's not enough room. So I put a, put a 500 in there, and it's about to get a uh, wireless card upgrade from the uh, Feros 5007G to a Broadcom of some description. And I'll tell you why I'm going to do that. This machine has the best of all three worlds on it. Starting up. Get a bootloader screen. Okay, pick an OS. Oh, let's see, let's try Windows, shall we? Windows. Windows 7. I want a copy of Windows 7 Ultimate, and this machine is the one I use the most uh, when I'm out and about, so it deserved to get it. There we go, Windows 7. Pretty stock, you think, you know. Netbook, it's got the Windows stickers on it. Yep, yeah, pretty stock standard. It came with XP, but I decided I wanted Windows 7 on it, just to stay up with the changes. So that's all good. I can't see the mouse on this little screen, so I'll just peek over the phone and go restart. So there's Windows. Operating system at number one of three. <clears throat> number two. Of course, Ubuntu 9.10 Netbook Edition. <clears throat> Whenever I feel the urge to muck around with Linux, I can jump into Ubuntu and mess around with registers and stuff. Like I do with the network card, uh, the Wi-Fi card, trying to get it to work with the other operating system. It might take a little while to boot. But it's all good. Runs reasonably snappy on this thing. This is probably where I spend most of my time actually because this has got the nicest interface of um, any netbook operating system with this nice little menu system. So when you're looking for something, you know, you just click the group and it's there, you know. Uh, scroll down if you need to. I can't see the scroll bar. <laughs> there isn't one. <laughs> there you go. I'm looking at the phone screen by the way, so it makes it a little bit difficult. Okay, you hit the restart button on that one. We all know what's coming up next. I think you've all guessed. Comes from the same company that makes my phone. They make really nice computers as well, but yeah, sorry, Apple fellas, you just charged a bit too much for them. And here it is Mac OS 10.6.2, Snow Leopard, Samsung version. <laughs> This is the reason I need to replace the Wi-Fi card, because it doesn't work under the Apple OS. There it is, I've got a Mac. Well, this only took me four days to do, and this many removable drives. We got an 8 gigabyte uh, SanDisk Cruiser, we got a... Um, I think it's a 64 megabyte boot drive for loading up the operating system when we need it. That's a 4 gigabyte um, SD card and a memory stick. And below all that is a 40 gigabyte hard drive with the Apple OS on it. Which is the end. But this one here is gone flaking on me. It's not a Sandus Cruiser, it's a Trans Flash, I think, or a Jet Flash. Um, that one there went flaky on me and I couldn't get the operating system to load, so I had to use the hard drive. And I found the hard drive on the street. <laughs> but there you go, that's. Um, Apple OS 10.6.2 running on a um, Samsung and C10 netbook along with two other operating systems. <laughs>